Okay, welcome to video six. In this video, we're going to talk about links. I'm going to show you um, how to get one on ClickBank if you don't know, where to get your affiliate link, and I'm also going to show you just how to cloak them real quick. Okay, so if we just start this off, we head over to ClickBank and head over to the marketplace. You can you can get your affiliate link from CB Engine as well, by the way, if you're following um, the same techniques I showed you in video one. So let's just head into uh, business to business. Let's grab the first product, and let's you, let's use this one. I actually looked at this one in video one. Okay. So let's explain some of the stuff here. ClickBank nickname. First of all, you need to make an account with ClickBank, and that will be uh, the nickname that they give you. And then this little uh, tracking ID thing here is actually a really uh, useful feature. It means you can add a little ID to the end of the link, and then when you go to your reporting section in your ClickBank account, where it will show you how many times your links have been clicked, um, what the conversion rate was, and stuff like that, it will actually have an individual um, spot for each individual tracking ID, if, if that makes sense. So if we call this um, SB. Uh, top yeah um, so that would stand for sidebar top so that so in the sort of uh, right hand sidebar we might have a link there and it might be at the top of the sidebar and we'd call this link sidebar top and then when we went to check out which links were doing well and which weren't and which were getting the most clicks um, that would come up separate to uh, the rest of the links if that makes sense, so you can so basically it allows you to see which links are performing better than others, and it just makes it easier to monitor rather than having one single thing for each individual merchant. You can actually track it down to a single link level. Okay, so all we're going to do now is we're just going to click create, and it's created our link there, and we're just going to close this for a second, and I'm going to show you how to cloak links real simple. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here to my desktop. It's my nice background here. <laughs> and we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call that recommends. You can call it whatever you want. Go works uh, pretty well as well. We're going to go into that folder. And we're going to create a new text document. And we're going to call that uh, what's the product called? Day Trading Robot. We'll just call that um, Robot just for this. So that's been renamed. Then we're going to go in and we're just going to paste in some code here. You can get this code in the Google Sniper menu. I've put it in there so you can just copy and paste it from there. And this is the only code you need. And where it says link here, or in the manual, I think it might say something else, but yeah, you just um, all we're going to do is we're going to head back here, we're going to copy and paste this link, and where it says link here, we are just going to replace that like that. And there you go, and that's all you need to do. Well, and now uh, finally. What we need to do is just change this file extension from uh, TXT to PHP. Oops. So we're just going to, to rename and we're going to call this PHP. Uh, for some of you guys, you might not have file extensions enabled, so I'll just show you how to uh, do that as well. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to go into Organize. Um, then into folder and search options so we're in the general tab we're going to click on the view tab and then we are just going to go down here and this hide extensions for known file types so if you can't see .php and .txt that will be ticked and what you want is you want to just untick it like so press ok and then it won't hide extensions. .php and .txt are extensions. So then now we're just going to close that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to upload this to the web to our web server. 
and then we can test it out as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. Okay, so I'm in uh, my FTP client now, which is FileZilla, which I showed you how to download earlier. And we're just going to scroll down to Recommends. Here it is. And you can see I'm in the root directory for the site. So it will just be, if you've just got one domain on your hosting account, it will just be slash public underscore HTML, the first, you know, just in there. And if you've got a domain, then it will be um, the domain name, you know, if you've got multiple domains in the account. Um, this basically it's the same place where all your uh, files are uploaded so index HTML all of that stuff and all we're going to do is we're going to click right click and we're going to click upload and it's going to upload it to the web server okay it's done that and now let's go ahead and try it out so if I bring this down here Perhaps you can see it. Yep, there we go. So all we're going to do is we're going to type in www.googlesniper.com slash recommends slash robot I think they called it dot php I think that was the so and this is going to hopefully go to the site and it did pause that and how do you check to see if this link's working so it's gone to the site but you want to make sure that you're going to get credit so we're just going to go down here we're going to go to the merchants page it's loading and we're going to uh, just oops yeah and what you want to see here you want to see affiliate equals your ID and then if you assigned it a tracking ID you'll uh, want to see that as well ideally so sidebar top for this one so that's how you if you see affiliate equals none then you've done uh, something wrong and you just need to check over everything um, by the way the recommend you know the recommend slash robot.php that is what you'll actually use on your website so you won't use the, use your affiliate link when you say uh, click here to check out the product you'll send them to that link instead which is the cloaked URL and then then they'll visit that page and be automatically transferred to the merchants but you just won't see your ugly affiliate link basically okay so it's a pretty short video just about links and how to cloak them and I will see you in video 7 thanks for watching